Hey, Dale. Thanks for being down here. What do you think about the new toy? It's um, yellow. <laughs> it's yellow, yes. yes. No, it's, um, it's amazing, actually, um, to see two F-50s right next to each other, one in red and one in yellow. There was 31 that were yellow. And, uh, so, so 31 made in yellow. 31 okay. made in yellow. So, and it looks really beautiful. Fly yellow is like, you know, incredible. You know why they call it fly yellow? Why is that? Well, when, when, you, when you go to like, uh, I was in these car shows, like in San Marino Motor Classics, and I park it there, suddenly you have all these oh, flies. Oh, the flies like, come, yes, they, yeah, they I've all, seen like, that before. They, yeah, they, <laughs> yeah. And, and, and that's why they call it fly yellow, because it really does it. No matter how much you wipe it, it keeps coming back. It's crazy. Nice. You know what else flies are attracted to? <laughs> but not in this case. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, um, what are like the differences, main differences between these two? Actually, you here have like a classic spider top, right? Yeah. Or is well, this the hard actually, top? actually, it comes, it comes with the hard top, and it comes with a soft top, or you can have it totally convertible. So this, this one has a soft top already installed, and this was the hard top. But the thing is. Uh, these Wait, these models. Like a, hold on a second. There's a B there, right? There is a B there. Let's look it off. Boom. There it goes. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, it's working. Okay. It's working. Yeah, it's attracting bees now. I know. We, we didn't even plan that. That just happened. <laughs> this one has the soft top, and this one has the hard top, but it's the same. It's the same. Car. So this one also has the hard top. This one well. also has a hard top. Comes in a box. Yeah. yeah. And and the cool thing about F50 when they did that, um, they had a lot of accessories with it. They had like luggage and shoes and uh, champagne glasses, even a GP watch, all kinds of stuff. So they took the F40 and just raised the bar with it into yeah, the... Yeah, because the F40 was a, a V8 and, and twin turbo. And I think they got the max power out of that, that one. The, the only next level was to put a V12. Now, what they did, which was cool, was they took a F, F1 V12 engine mm -hmm. and then put it in here. So the sound and everything is really it's really like that and, and a lot of people like that's what they like about this car is that sound is incredibly so crazy. what is the displacement on the 12 cylinder the placement uh, on the 12 cylinder right now it's escaping me <laughs> but I know you guys are gonna put it on the screen so that <laughs> okay. you know I we'll can't we'll know that, that. <laughs> All right, so should we find out who's faster? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah let's find out who's faster <laughs> okay amazing the v12 is like can't even explain it it's so visceral it's so uh, raw it's much rawer than I expected I drove the f40 it's much more tame compared to this one I like it I like it a lot who's the, who's the better driver of course me he has too many cars to drive well you know You know, because we drove that 40 before, right? Yeah. And I was thinking this would be a little more refined, but it's actually more raw. Yeah, than that 40. yeah, it sure I is. think it's the V12, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's just so analog. Like, I thought there would be, being 90s car, mm -hmm, I thought mm -hmm. there would be more, you know, technology involved, right, but it's right, not. Right, it's right, very, right. very analog. And, like, that motor is just amazing. What do you think about that motor, that sound, that you know, that it's just, like, different, right? You can't, you can't compare it to anything else, <laughs> right. right? Like, it's There's it's no sound own, like that. Yeah, it's totally its own thing. And then the, just the torque all the way through right, the van is right, amazing. Right, right, right. It's a cool car. It's, it's a, a very cool, cool car. Um, yeah. You know, I always kind of overlook the F50 because mm. it kind of doesn't look as necessarily as good as the F40, as classic right, right, as F40. Sure. But the look is now growing on me. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. you know, 90s stuff, it took a while for us to, right, like, right. you know, start to like that, yeah, that yeah. look. It kind of went out for a while, but it looks good. It drives really well. Right. I like it better than that 40, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's an amazing, amazing You know, car. the thing is, and a lot of people that don't know, of course, you don't blame them. They don't own it. They've never driven it. From the specs, from the data, they say, oh, you know, the F40 and then the Enzo. And they always, 
like you know they leave the F50 they don't give the F50 the credit love, the, yeah. a, lo a love love yeah. but now that you've driven it I mean you can see why it's different right I mean yeah, you can see I how a, you love I it and you found respect for this because I drove the Enzo also yeah, right? yeah. Um, which is much more modern mm -hmm. but this thing is just like it's just raw it's very raw and I, like I think it. we like that too yeah and the handling is really nice yeah the suspension setup is great it's not too harsh mm -hmm. like, for street wise it's okay yeah um, we didn't really get to like check the handling but it felt it felt flat you know so, yeah I mean, sure 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 is, so. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. Oh, oh man. So I like it. All right. All right. You heard it from Daniel. Dude, does this bring you back to the 90s? Yeah, it does. It totally brings me back to the 90s. Although I wasn't driving these kind of cars in the 90s. <laughs> okay, in the 90s, what were you doing? In the 90s, mid-90s, mid -90s, I had a Toyota pickup truck. You had, you had a Toyota pickup yeah. truck? Yeah. I had a Toyota pickup truck. Is that your, was that one that of your was, first cars? That was my first car. That yeah. was my second car. That was your second car. But it was my college car. Okay. So you were still in the U.S. at that time? Yeah, I left I left the U.S. in 97. Okay. And then from 97 till probably like 2005, I didn't drive at all because I was in Hong Kong. I was, I was really poor for a long time. Yeah, you were. <laughs> and then you started hitting those movies. Yeah. And then when I got to the age where I could afford a nice car, yeah. I didn't think I deserved it yet because I was still young. Right, okay. In my 20s. Yeah. So I waited a while, a long time, before I got a nice car. So what was, what was your first nice car? My first real nice car? Yeah. Was my 2018 uh, GT3 Touring. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't until I moved back to the States yeah. where I had place to drive right. that I thought it would be worthwhile having a you know a nice car, a fast car. Right. Right. Because right. you couldn't do it in Hong Kong. There's cameras everywhere. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, no yeah, tracks yeah, yeah. around. Yeah. So it wasn't until I moved back to the States till I started driving taking driving seriously, collecting cars, you know, all that kind of stuff. But you had a classic car, didn't you? Did you have a classic car in Hong Kong? Yeah. I had a 61 Jaguar XKE. Yeah. Uh, even Enzo Ferrari said it was the most beautiful car in the world. <laughs> well, you know, I, like, I, that, that's, that's certainly, what, you know, coming back to U.S., it's like, you have to play with the cars. It's just such a good environment here. Yeah. And the weather, you got, you know, car culture. Well, especially and California car culture is yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, definitely. And, and you got, obviously, you have a lot of cars now, so. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. Yeah, and I like my cars to be all driver focused. Yeah. But it feels so smooth. The suspension's great for the street. Yeah. But it's raw enough for an enthusiast to enjoy every aspect of it. The sounds, the way the shifter shifts. For sure, it's Daniel because I was. We were um, at Sonoma Raceway and we were driving. Man, this guy is fast. And you know, he's been he's been through the whole season uh, of endurance racing, which we're proudly to say Hingwali Jewelers is sponsored. Sponsor, yep. And uh, and you know, I think overall you got second. Overall, we got second in the in the endurance series, and then we did the 25 hours. Yeah, the of 25 Thunder. hour, which we, also Hingwali was a sponsor. And we also landed second in and that one. Also landed second. Yep. So my, I'm so proud of my bro, man. Yeah. You know. I mean, well, especially considering since a year ago today, I had never even driven a race car. So, I know, I know, I know. Um, having like this one year of experience of racing really, really gave me a lot of experience in the uh, in seat time. Yeah, no, it did. And, and you know, not not only that, you know, of course, as Daniel's friend, um, you know, I've seen some of seen his acting and his performance there, and that and that professionalism and that uh, focus, he basically tuned it on to racing. And you really need that because endurance racing, I mean, it's so tiring. You know, I go through a few laps, I'm already kind of like, you know, not really concentrating. But you have to concentrate for hours on hours. It's yeah, pretty... two and a half hour stints. Uh, yeah, that's a long time. That's, yeah. that's a long time. That's all. And, and, the, and the different weather conditions, you know, rain, darkness, snow, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, it's uh, it was challenging. Like, I, you know, 
I really threw myself in the deep end by jumping into endurance racing. Yeah, but yeah. now that I've experienced it, I prefer endurance racing over sprint racing. Because mm. sprint racing is, is fun, but it's very short. It's 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You know, you're doing about 10 laps as fast as you can. Right. Whereas endurance racing, you can plan and you can have strategy mm. and there's a lot mm -hmm. more thinking involved and then there's much more teamwork involved, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, you know, our crew, strategy, how we pit, how we do gas ups and all that kind of stuff. All, that's all that thing it has a lot to do with it. Whereas sprint racing, you just go as right. fast as you can right. for right. 20 right. minutes right. and that's it, sure. right? Sure. Sure. So a lot more factors are involved and it's a lot more my style. Like mm -hmm. I like the, the teamwork and strategizing yeah, 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 about yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And it's almost like F1, how they do it too, you yeah. know, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a mini like version of that. Mini basically. version of F1. Except our, our, our pit ins take like two and a half minutes. <laughs> and their half. pits take like two, two seconds. seconds, right? Two seconds. <laughs> yeah, but it was still, it's still cool. I mean, it's still super cool. And uh, you, you brought the, the car, the race car, over to Cars and Chronos last yes, time. Yes. And so we got to show that picture. We have that picture. But um, it was it was awesome, man. That, that's just you know that's a fast fast car. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's a fast car.